We wanted to know what results-based approaches to aid the social sectors are doing, and we asked participants at this Recom results meeting in Stockholm the questions. Well, I think they're terribly important because it shows you what the outcome is of the money that is spent. The downside of it is when it becomes an accountability to the donors rather than to the recipients. And so the downside can be used to really ill effect when it's a superimposition of results that are there's uh, over which there's no ownership. And so my worry today, for instance, in education is where we've moved from the MDGs on enrollment of primary education to quality, is that rather than supporting, for instance, the learning achievement that needs to be studied within the country, it will superimpose learning achievement tests and the companies that are selling them from the industrialized countries on the poor examinations branches of many ministries of education in developing countries. In our eagerness to show this connection between aid and impact, sometimes we focus too much on things which can be easily measured. And there are some indicators for some of these things, like you know some of the corruption indicators and things like that become very popular. But unfortunately, I think while that is all very useful, it doesn't tell us you know, some of the story, which is actually there is a lot of uh, other factors which we have not measured, we have not taken into account. Um, therefore, I think we need that kind of a caution and we want to understand a bit more in terms of why, where it has worked, where it has you know, impacted. Even after measuring all these factors, what other things which we have not thought about might have contributed. One, one result that's kept coming up and up again is that you have to talk to people in the country, work, work with people in the country, get their buy-in, get, get, learn to know what they need, what will work, talk to the mothers, talk to the children, find out what will work in each context, and it's different in each context. Well, I think it's always good to, to be focused on what you're, what you're trying to achieve. Um, there is, you know, the well-known success indicator problem that if you focus too much on one particular thing, you take the eye off the ball in other areas. So, I mean, education would be one, one example of where a lot of attention has been placed on enrollments, particularly enrollment rates in primary school, but not enough attention has been given to, to quality. So it's all very well having children going to primary school, but they've got to learn something and be able to read and write properly when they come out. I think it's a very difficult question. In, in one sense, we actually do need to know the results of these uh, programs and, and what they can do. Um, but I think there's, a, there's an overemphasis on it and people are, are um, becoming more short-term short uh, oriented and they're not looking at the long-term pictures. And uh, in some ways, uh, it's being driven by what you can know in the short term. And I think that has to change. Uh, we have to change our methodology in order to actually look at what results are and what, how do you define results. And, and we're a long ways from that. And there needs to be a lot of agreements as to what we can do regarding how do, you, how do you identify results that actually affect the welfare of people. And so in that sense, I think um, you know, we can't just talk about it. We have to really, really think, think through this. And um, in, in my view, we haven't done that. And I think there's a, there's a lot of shouting about it because, because it sounds very good to the public. It sounds very good to, to legislatures. It sounds very good to, to people who think that their money is being wasted. And, and um, so in, in that sense, I think it's actually ha having a, um, not the expected results that I would like to see. Uh, we're far from it.